is unboxing the new Sun Gold 11.4 uh, kilowatt inverter. I got two of these to run in parallel. Um, come with a good mount. This is your Wi Fi uh, modular. Your uh, rings for your power cords to reduce uh, noise reduction. Your CT wires all wired together. Uh, the manual. The manual looks uh, actually very nicely done. Easy to read, just like the one online. Um, yeah, got everything in there. Um, also, the parallel cable to join the two together. And some keys. Maybe you can lock this thing up, I'm not sure yet. Anyways, um, that's it for the unboxing of the Sun Gold 11.4 kilowatt inverter. Now, I got this out of the box. This is the Sun Gold 11.4 kilowatt inverter. Um, I'm going to have two of them connected in parallel. i uh, just go around the outside of it, show you a few things. Um, it does have the latches to unbolt with the key on this one, so you can lock it up. Um, a lot handier than the other inverters I've had. Um, this is the PV switch on and off, and then your start button right there. Also on the bottom, all of your ports to enter in, uh, nicely laid out. They're all actually the right sides for a conduit. Um, I'm gonna install this and I'll show you guys after it's installed what it looks like. You open up the cover, it does have a panel here, protect the electronics, everything's connected. I ended all the screws so you can take that out. The battery, uh, everything's labeled really well. Battery has a 300 amp breaker connected to it. Then you have all your PV connections. Um, done a nice job with these upgraded press down uh, connectors. So, and then over here for your load, you have your gr to grid uh, generator or smart load. I'm gonna use a smart load in my connection. And then your backup panel or the output. There's your neutral bus bar and then your ground bus bar. Uh, circuit breakers on here, the generator or smart port is a 60 amp breaker, uh, 70 amp from the grid, and then 70 amp it looks like to your backup panel. Um, everything's nice and tight and put together. Um, this is replacing um, two IP6048s that I have that um, have malfunctioned and aren't working, so I've upgraded to this unit, and I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you.